Um, in this video, we're going to look at a thing called Argand diagrams. Um, Argand diagram is where, is where we plot um, a, a complex number on a, a Cartesian plane, really. Okay? It's, it's just like the x and y axis, except instead of having the y axis, we call it the imaginary axis. And instead of saying the x axis, we call it the real axis. All right. So what we'll do is we we'll first of all plot z1, which is 2 plus 3i. So how we do that is we go to 2 on the real axis, because that's the real number. So here's 2. And then we go up to plus 3i on the imaginary axis. So here. So that's where they meet. And that's z1. Likewise, z2 then is minus 1 and down to minus 4i. And that's z2. Okay, um, just other ones to plot. If we were just asked to plot 4, well then that's just on the real axis. Here it is. If we were asked to plot minus 2i, that would be just on the imaginary axis. Okay, and one last one if I was asked to plot minus 3 plus 2i. So go to minus 3 and up to 2i, which would be there. Okay, right. Now we're going to get to something called the modulus. All right, the modulus is the distance from a complex number straight to origin so it's to find that distance really if I want to find the modulus of z1 I'm finding that distance okay um, if I wanted to do that you could use your distance formula or you could use Pythagoras's theorem okay because if there's a right angle triangle okay? but the way it's generally done in complex numbers is this formula here all right the way also they don't if they're asking you to find the modulus they don't say find the modulus they use maths language which is z1 with the two lines either side that means the modulus of z1 all right so if i want to find the modulus of z1 here's what i do i look at z1 which is 2 plus 3i so 2 plus 3i i take this formula the real number is a the imaginary number is B. I don't look at the I, I'm just interested in the number. I put it into this formula. So A is 2 squared plus B is 3 squared. And that's the square root of 4 plus 9, which is the square root of 13. So the distance from here back to the origin is the square root of 13. All right. One other question then. Here it is. We want to see if the modulus of Z1 plus Z2 is equal to the modulus of Z1 added to the modulus of Z2. Right. Well, I'm just going to write out what the two points are. So Z1 is 2 plus 3i. So Z1 equals 2 plus 3i, and Z2 equals minus 1 minus 4i, minus 1 minus 4i. Okay, first thing we have to do is find out what the modulus of Z1 plus Z2 are. So the first thing I'm going to do is add Z1 and 2Z2. So we have 2 plus 3i plus minus 1 minus 4i and that will give us 1 minus 1i which is 1 minus i okay yeah, we'll actually put in the 1 for might make it easier when we're getting the modulus of it okay so I want to find the modulus of this right here's how I do it This is our A number, the minus 1 is our B number. So there's our A number, minus 1 is our B number. Okay, so it's 1 squared 
plus minus 1 squared. 1 squared is 1, minus 1 squared is 1. So it's the square root of 2. Okay, so this here is the square root of 2. Yeah, is that equal to the modulus of Z1 plus the modulus of Z2? Well, let's get the modulus of Z1. So here's Z1 equals 2 plus 3i. And that is, um, we found it already actually, okay, up here. So that's square root of 13. And then the modulus of Z2. So Z2 equals minus 1 minus 4i. That's minus 1 plus minus 4, both to be squared. So that's the square root of 1 plus 16, which is square root of 15. And we could definitely say here that the square root of 2 is not equal to the square root of 13 plus the square root of 15. Okay, so definitely not. Um, okay, that's it guys. Thank you.